Hello, dear friends. I want to welcome you to this broadcast. Um, the Lord led it in my heart, or rather, I was inspired, and I feel to share this few points, just one point with you, and some other um, points that will come under it. You know, when I was at Mass today, uh, reflecting on the readings of today, I discovered that today is a very great day, and should be a very great day in the life of the church. And I say to the people in the church, that I feel that the, there should be one feast of Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary today, which I would like to call the Fiat of Mary or the Yes of Mary. Take a look behind me. You will see um, the Christmas tree and out there is, is so colorful out there. People decorated their houses, their homes, and where you are, you know that um, it is Christmas. So it doesn't really matter when you hear this message, the, the impact is the same. As we celebrate the coming of Jesus, the birth of Jesus, as we prepare to celebrate the birth of Jesus, can we ponder on the yes of Mary? Amen. Sometimes I used to think, Mary was a little girl and was a human like you and I. She has her will. She has her choice. She has the power to say yes or no. So in the Gospel of um, Luke, when the angel visited Mary in Luke chapter 1, you know, when the angel Gabriel came to Mary and said, you are full of grace, you know, you are full of grace. You have found favor with God and you will conceive in your womb and bear a son. Luke chapter 1 from verse 30. He will be great. You will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. The angel, and then Mary said, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy and he will be called the Son of God. Then he, and the angel went on to say that is, hear the reply of Mary. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Hallelujah. That statement has always been underrated. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me. According to your word, O Gabriel. At that point, the Holy Ghost came. The rest has been history, even up to you today. What if Mary said, Please, oh, I don't want your promise, I don't want your favor, go. What if Mary said, No? She could have said no. She understood what it means to conceive and bear a son without getting married. And she understood the implication in the culture of that day and the culture of the time. Yet, she said yes. How many people will accept such? God is sending you apparently into danger. And you still say yes? Hallelujah. Many have said no. Many have said no in history. And many are still saying no to the calling of God today. If Mary said no, what would have happened? I used to imagine what would have happened if Mary had said no. Maybe the angel will go back and say, bye-bye. <laughs> you know, she said no. And God will make another plan. Maybe bring up another young girl. Maybe from conception. You know, it may have taken another thousand years, two thousand years, three thousand years. If Mary had said no, maybe the world would have still been in darkness up till today. Praise the Lord. Do you know that the coming of Jesus has sinned civilization? Imagine the number of years the world has existed before Christ. Use your mind and they check Analyze the progress of advancement and of technology and development and civilization before Christ was born, until Christ was born. And now you can check 
the progress in technology and civilization from the time of Christ till now. And you see that the difference is clear. The birth of Christ brought light into the, in, into the darkness of our world. A light that enlightens all men. That's what the Bible says. The light of Christ. A light that enlightens all men. Enlightens the mind of men. That's why the world is where we are today. Light everywhere. Clarity. Intelligence. Knowledge increasing. Because of Jesus. Because of Jesus. Because of Jesus. And because Mary said yes, and Jesus came. Amen. Are you ready to say yes to the calling of God? Many have said no. Many, even many called by God, they have said no. The angel have come to, has gone to many and said, God wants you to work for him. And I know some people have said, no, I don't want to work. I'm not interested. I've seen young people who were born with such great gifts, such great calling of God upon their lives, and they refused to attend to that calling. Rather, they went their own ways. They don't want to work for God. And they forget that for every man or woman called by God, there are millions, thousands of destinies attached to that person. Praise the Lord. So if you fail in your calling, many will fail. Amen. Many ministers of God also have refused to say yes. Many have said no to the call to holiness and righteousness. And what's the result? The people of God are not blessed. The people of God are not edified. The people of God do not grow. Many things damage around them. Anytime you say no to God, the earth suffers. Creation suffers. Amen. So I want you today to make up your mind to say yes. If you're a young man, a young woman, a young boy, a young girl, you are hearing this message, please say yes. Whenever you hear divine calling, that clarion call to be sent to go into the world and make disciples of all nations, please say yes and do not say no. Praise the Lord. This is the message I want, to, I want you to consider and uh, ponder with me today. And today we also honor Mary, that virgin whose yes has brought us so great a salvation. We honor her. We are privileged. Amen. And let her life, let the life she led be an inspiration to all, to all of us, to you, whoever are listening, are listening to it. It doesn't matter whether you're a Catholic or not. This message is apt for you. Whenever you hear the voice of God, please say yes. Maybe God is telling you to separate yourself from a particular person who you feel is a friend. Say yes, because whatever God commands you to do is for your own good. The commandments of God are for our own good. When God is restricting you, he is restricting you in order to save you. He is restricting you in order to protect you. The Ten Commandments and all the norms behind them, it is for our own good. Because God knows that if you do such a thing, you are going to suffer for it. You are going to suffer the consequences. So God is saying, don't do this. Do not do that. Do not do this. Not as if God is restricting you from exploring life the way you want. But because God wants you to be safe. God wants you to be blessed. Amen. This is the message I have for you today. I want you to take it home. Reflect on this message. Have you ever said no to God in your life? Have you ever said no to the call to repentance? Have you ever said no to the call to holiness? Have you ever said no to the call to righteousness? Are you, have you ever said no to the call to be an evangelist? Have you said no to the call to be a prophet? Have you ever said no to the call to join, to become a pastor, to become a priest, to become a nun, to, be, to become a reverend? When you hear God calling, will you say yes? May the Lord empower you in the name of Jesus. Father, as many as will watch this message, may they hear your call in their life. As many that have ever said, no, Father, may you give him the grace to say yes. Father, may you empower your people. Father, may you empower your people. And may your life be blessed, O you child of God, in Jesus' name. I bless your life in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I want to encourage you to share this message. Share this message and hit the subscribe button. Let as many people as possible hear this message. I tell you, you are clicking this subscribe button. 
you're clicking the like button, you're sharing this message might be the reason somebody somewhere will come to the knowledge of God, will come to serve God, and will be the reason for somebody somewhere to fulfill the purposes of God in his or her life. As you do this, may God bless you super abundantly in the name of Jesus. Shalom.